I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing these lovely daffodils. So grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art. All right, so we're going to begin our daffodils. We're going to do a few of them here by drawing the top of the flowers first and then we'll draw the stems and leaves. So we're gonna draw three uh, daffodils. So I'm gonna draw three curving lines, all spaced out, far apart. Doesn't matter where you put them on your page. We're gonna space them out. From each, we're gonna draw a big line outward. And then we're gonna draw some curving or zigzag lines to connect them to create the center petals of our lovely daffodils. Beautiful. On each one, we're gonna draw some lovely overlapping petals. So we can draw some beautiful leaf or petal shapes spreading outward just like that. And of course, they might overlap with each other. So if, depending on where they are, for instance, these two are going to overlap each other and that will add a sense of depth or space in our artwork. It's actually nice when that happens because it implies that one thing is behind another thing, right? Like my hands, it's implying that there's dimension or depth on this two dimensional space. So it gives a little bit more realism when that happens. So when I get, when I start overlapping them, I'm just gonna skip over areas that I can't see, right? So I'll go over towards it and then stop, bring it back down. So we're just gonna skip over areas, essentially. Beautiful, and we have some beautiful daffodils. Next, we're gonna draw some stems coming down in different directions. You can make them expressive like I am, where they're a lot cur more curved, or you can make them straight. Whatever you want, bring them right down to the ground, just like that. And then we'll add some long, tall, thin leaves. They have quite long, tall, thin leaves. So we can add some thin leaves reaching out wherever you have space, you just add them in. You can have as many or as few as you want. And then I like to add a little bit of grass with some expressive zigzag lines here and there just for some texture in my artwork. Gorgeous. And once you're done, you can go ahead and color in your daffodils. Now you could do white daffodils, you could do yellow. Um, mostly they are always yellow, but there's sometimes they're yellow and orange. They have hints of orange there, here and there. So you can go ahead and color them in with your choice of colors. I'm gonna do yellow and then I'm gonna add a little bit of orange here and there just for some variety in color. So it's not all just one or two colors in my whole artwork. I like to add some variety, which is a principle of design. So it's not just one color. It's more visually interesting when we add lots of different colors. We wanna, we want our viewers to spend some time looking at our artwork. And I'm also intentionally leaving some white edges on there just for some highlights, again, to add variety. So anywhere I think that the sun might touch the tips of the petals, I'm gonna add a nice little white line along there. And that's, again, going to add a highlight where the sun is making a lighter spot on the edges. So it's not in the middle, but along the edges.
once you're done, your lovely daffodil artwork is done. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more. Mm-hmm.